Hello everybody. Today we're going to learn how to use a PoE extender and expand our transmission range. Well first we have to know what is a PoE. PoE is the technology that transmits power and data through one single Ethernet cable. But normally the PoE signal can only transmit to 100 meters. After 100 meters we would need the help of some other devices. In this case we we'll need the help of a PoE extender to help us break the 100 meter barrier. A PoE extender in general is a device which we, is really easy to install. Usually we just put it between one power sourcing equipment and one power device. When it is between it, it will repeat the PoE signal that has been transmitted to it and send it to our power device further on. It is really easy to install and now we have two models in front of me and I'll take you guys a closer look. So now let's take a look at this one first. These two are the same. These are a one input, one output PoE extender. You can see there's input and output ports. And these are plastic outer casings, a little bit water resistant. And you can see there are Ethernet ports on both ends. This will receive the PoE signal at the input port. and repeat it again and send it out at the output port. So after the output port, it will go another 100 meters. And this is with 100 megabits per second bandwidth and can send all the way up to 60 watts of power. Usually this is for easy one device extensions. This is a really good choice. And you can see all it needs is two Ethernet cables. It can get power from the PO signal sent to it initially, and then we'll power up the whole components for it to repeat the signal. So it's also easy because we don't need an extra power source to power it up. And right here, this is our one input to output PoE extender. You can see this one has a metal casing, which makes it more strengthened to water and dust so it is good for direct burial and also the metal casing can help it release heat better than other material. This one has two output ports so it, it, with the extending feature it can also expand to an extra port. It's like splitting the PoE signal into two streams so it can connect to two IP devices eventually and each port has a maximum of 30 watts power output and this one can reach a um, thousand megabits per second bandwidth. These two are all really good choices. And another thing is that PoE extenders can be used to non-PoE devices. They, they will only send the data in this case. So either way, they're a really good choice. So now to show you guys how easy it is to set up, I will connect our IP camera to our MER with a PoE extender in the middle. So we can see right here this is a PoE MER, a network video recorder with a PoE switch integrated in it so we can just uh, get the power and data from here. And then this is our IP camera and with this PoE MER we can see the camera's image on our script monitor here. So regularly we just connect the PoE in VR with the IP camera. Now we're going to do it with a PoE extender at the middle. So first we connect one Ethernet cable to our NVR and the input port of our PoE extender. And right now you can see the, this LAN indicator is on. So there's power data going through it. And now on the other, one other two end, there's two ports, either one is okay, I'll just choose one, and then connect one to the PO extender, one to the IP camera, and then there should be a second indicating on, indicator on, and now we should be getting an image on our screen shortly. Now I can see we have an image on our monitor here. I'll wave my hand in front of the camera to show you guys it is a live video feed. And this means there's both data and power going to our IP camera, which means this connection is successful. So if you guys want to extend the PoE network, the transmission for the 100 meters, to extend it would be a good choice. A quick tip is with these one-in-one-out PoE extenders, we can use this and use this little trick 
to create a 300 meters high speed tunnel between two extenders. So in this case, these two would be creating a 300 meter between these two and another 100 meters on both ends, which gives us a total of about 500 meters of transmission distance. You can check my previous videos how I talked about it detailedly. And now, in my next video, I'll show you guys how to expand our transmission distance by also expanding the ports for Ethernet cables to let us connect to more and more IP devices. Alright, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys have any more comments or questions, you can leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.